Uh, so uh, do a search online, conventionofthestates.com slash Dave. I think that's the website uh, that you need to go to. Um, we're in a fight, man. This is a huge fight. We got to go up against the federal government. Uh, their overreach at this point has just reached uh, beyond imagination. Um, never in a million years did I th think that the executive branch, branch would uh, totally defy uh, a, a judicial district court ruling against vaccine mandates and just say, screw you guys, we're still going to do it anyway. Um, it looks like we're going to lose maybe half the truckers. I don't know. A lot of the truckers don't want the vaccine mandate. Uh, we've lost half the Navy SEALs. I mean, the military is getting decimated because of these vaccine mandates. And the leftists and the Democrats are all for it, man. They're all for it. They're all for Afghanistan. I mean, you know, you're leaving $85 billion in military equipment behind. I mean, I tell you what, the whole damn world has gone insane. And you think, you know, anyway, I, and of course, here I am. I, you know, I promised you guys a 10,000 mile journey. And really what I planned to do was just travel the country. And I wanted to see what was going on. Because I've seen uh, on YouTube so many stories about tent cities and what's going on in the, the you know, across the country. And I uh, had no idea, no idea my wife would just move out of the house and take everything. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, it's, so I had to rush back from my mom's house after helping her for a couple of weeks, uh, which she didn't appreciate because she kept calling me constantly and going, what about my money market account? What about my money market account? I said, Mom, I couldn't give a shit about your damn money market account. I said, I'm going through a divorce here in Florida. <laughs> you know? I mean, you know, when you deal with old people, it's just, uh, it's, it's tough. I mean, I know they're thinking about themselves and, you know, they're kind of vulnerable and I am too. Hell, I'm 58 years old. So um, it's, uh, it's something else. Uh, but let's just, because uh, all I could do today, I just, I just was comatose. I, I, it was Sunday, and I just decided I wasn't going to go hiking, and I wasn't going to take the dog out. You know, well, we, you know, you got to take the dog out to walk him around the neighborhood and poop him, you know. But uh, I just thought, you know, I just, I just want to sit and watch TV. Well, I mean, the, the Kyle Rittenhouse story is a, it's, it's a travesty. I mean, what a great kid. And uh, I talked about this in a previous video. There's no way, no way I could have shown that type of restraint. I would have been shooting people. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to say that in a mean way, but I mean, you know, I'm military. I mean, when, when somebody's coming at me and they want to kill me, uh, you know, I'm taught to kill, you know. And, uh, and, and Kyle Rittenhouse is, was not. He was just a kid, man. He's just 17 years old. And um, they came at him. I mean, and have you seen... The, the sheets, one of the guys was a pedophile who raped kids for a living and was in federal penitentiaries, uh, and they let him out. So what do you think of one of the person that he killed? Okay, and the other guy had another rap sheet that was just as long, and, and Kyle had to kill him. And then the third guy actually in the trial admitted that he was pointing a gun at Kyle Rittenhouse's head and, uh, and, and, and so Kyle shot him. I don't even know why this thing went to trial other than the leftist Marxist communist, uh, you know, are trying to, uh, you know, uh, destroy the second amendment. <clears throat> I don't know. You tell me, leave some comments below. What do you think? I mean, uh, to me, I mean, I, I mean, if there was ever, you know, Job getting swallowed by the whale, <laughs> you know, Kyle Rittenhouse is in that category, don't you think? And so I'm, I've been watching that all day, uh, you know, I, and uh, it was um, it was something else to see. Freedom, oh freedom, good to live in the free state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no mask requirements, no jabs, and no lockdowns. And you can see the boo dog. Now I notice I kind of flashed him up <laughs> the last time. You guys peace out and stay free.